Hello, welcome back. I am the Irish guy. This is just my small little window of the internet where I just talk about anything. And so today, another boxing video. Hooray! But listen, I think right now we can all agree that YouTube boxing is drowning in a very shallow puddle of cow urine. Christ love, we have reached the point where now Jacob Paul is preparing to fight the Fredo Corleone of the Fury family. Yes, Tommy's probably got a six pack harder than a coffee table. But Christ love, comparing his fighting ability to any of his siblings, and you'd assume this man was an adopted child of the internet. Who else? You've got big brother Logan Paul off the back of a ridiculous circus farce of a fight against Floyd Mayweather in a bout where clearly weight classes went out the window along with self-respect, pride and the dignity of boxing. Uh, I mean, uh, were we all supposed to just ignore the fact that Logan is big enough to swallow Floyd for breakfast? We live in a world where his brother is fighting Tommy Fury while Logan is rumoured to be fighting the man who Tommy's successful brother was named after. One of the GOATs of the boxing game. Mike Tyson. And why? What has Logan done to deserve this? Because he's got a chunk of followers on Instagram? Because he managed to make 30 million pounds for selling hoodies with a bird on it? In 50 years time, when you're walking through Logan Paul's Puerto Rican mansion, and you'll see proud artwork of him fighting some of the greatest boxers who ever lived. And why? Because he's popular on Snapchat? Doesn't it just make you feel like your mouth is gonna fill up with blood? Logan Paul is an alleged boxer who was terrified to let his hands go against KSI, while Iron Mike literally bit the ear of another man's face. Even if this guy wasn't one of the greatest boxers to ever live, even if he was just some middle-aged bus driver who just happened to pick up a six-year prison sentence in 1992 and who has a Maori tattoo on his face, even then I would think that a social media star fighting him oh, would be a mistake. I'm sorry, if anybody goes into a tattoo parlor and asks for something to be drawn on their face, then I would imagine they're the same type of people who, yeah, in a bare knuckle fight, would probably gladly rip off your knob whilst biting the head off a kitten. Right, so well, clearly an animal like him will probably probably rip off your nose with his teeth. You're essentially fighting boxing's answer to Hannibal Lecter and it was once compared to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> what? This isn't sport. There's a 30 year age gap. Just what? <laughs> By the lad, massively appreciate your support on this channel. I know I come from a bigger one. Most of you probably know me from that, but for this one, I'm trying to grow this, all right? I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible because I think this channel has legs to grow and do some crazy things in 2022. If you see my videos on the football channel, then come over, come across here, all right? And just, let's just see what will happen with this channel in 2022. Anyway, if you want to support this channel, if you want to hit a subscribe, you'd be the greatest person on the planet. You, you'd be fantastic. Anyway, back into the video. I mean, here's what Logan's dad, Greg, has to say about this. To have Logan fight him, it would be great. Would I love to see the fight? Absolutely. Okay, so clearly this man doesn't care if his son winds up stuck in a hospital bed for the rest of his life, being fed microwave cornflakes through a hole in his neck. I'm sorry, but if your son has only fought two men in his entire life, and one of them was a former FIFA gamer, then under no circumstances do you then encourage him to enter the ring with one of the most fearsome fighters to ever live. Mike Tyson versus Logan Paul We've already seen this on TV. This was in The Simpsons. Dredrick Tatum versus Homer Simpson. That, that's what happens. What, is Mike Mayak gonna enter the ring with a helicopter fan? I'm sorry, but Logan Paul is an awkward 14 year old boy. Would have been sitting in the cinema watching the Hangover movie when Mike Tyson was already four years retired with a tiger in his kitchen. Tell that skinny boy with his face full of popcorn that he would be taking the same punch in the face as the stuntman for Zach Galifianakis and he'd probably dissolve in his seat. Logan Paul has won zero professional boxing fights. And yet in the space of a year, he could have fought two men who have combined 100 pro boxing wins. Mike Tyson is a man who loves boxing. Christ love, he had a pro boxing fight nearly every single month for the first six years of his career. When he is in fighting mode, this man is an utter machine. So, so yeah, that is where the state of YouTube boxing is right now, which has left KSI out in the cold. This man was the king of the YouTube boxing scene. This is a man who thought he could beat anyone, literally anyone. <sighs> Let's be honest, YouTube boxing needs to die a very quick and painful death. It should be stuffed in a sweaty, pistol coffin and lay to the rest at the bottom of the Red Sea, where nobody can ever find it again. This was all spawned out of Joe Weller versus Teal Baker, which was clearly inspired by Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather, which in itself was a circus. Without that, there would be no Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury fight. I am very much convinced of that. And that was 
That was nearly five years ago. This needs to be rounded off. Finally, with a KSI versus Jake Paul fight. I said a few months ago that if KSI, after two years of doing nothing but munching KFC on the couch, that if he fought Jake Paul now, he'd wind up in a goddamn coma. But I'm sorry, this man was the king of YouTube boxing. Does he really want to finish that career without doing out what he set to do? You ready for Jake Paul? Uh, I'm not fighting Jake Paul right now. I n I've, wow. KSI versus Jake Paul is a rivalry which is just annoying. KSI, I'm coming for you. Last night you said my body. Both sets of men have both accused each other of being scared. You're scared, bro. I know you are. I mean, Jake Paul is afraid of me. He's ducking me. He, he's, he's legitimately ducking me. This is an itch that KSI needs to scratch. We are at a stage where Jake Paul has flown so far past him in the boxing stratosphere that people are actually now talking about him fighting KSI's trainer. You know, the actual professional boxer, Vidal Riley? Make no mistake about it, Vidal would turn your brain into mashed pumpkin. But the thing is, KSI hasn't fought in years, and going in there cold to fight Jake now, it would be career suicide. First of all, he would have his skull turned into mashed potato 30 seconds upon entering the ring. I'm sorry, but if KSI the Nightmare gets Nate Robinson, Lying unconscious on the floor in front of millions of people. What do you think that's going to do to his album sales? There'll be no more number one albums. No, he'll suddenly plummet about 63rd in the charts below the likes of a middle aged Westlife. Is he going to be able to market himself as the unstoppable, invincible KSI when there's a meme of him drooling chunks of pizza out of all four corners of his mouth onto the canvas? It'll be excruciating with a smug Jake Paul dancing around the ring with KSI's dignity spluttered in a pool of Weed Abix, looking like an unconscious. Frodo Baggins. It would, it would be visually horrible. So if this fight is ever going to happen, then I'm sorry, this man needs a few warm-up boxing fights. People have mentioned Anderson Gibb. That won't happen. People have said Austin McBroom. Again, who really cares? Not the only one that makes sense is Joe Weller. Again, I mean, the first fight did over 1 million pay-per-views. The estimated live gate revenue was 2.7 million pounds, solely from ticket sale prices at the Copper Box Arena. This was started by Joe Weller, but this is now his boxing legacy. <laughs> he done? What, what, first round, is he done? He's, is he done? Is he? You got not the out. Joe Weller, you went from this. Imagine 8,000 people seeing yeah. your head uh -huh. absolutely crushed yeah, onto the no canvas. Way. No and way. Weller, lift his hands up. To this. I'm gonna knock out. He's gonna be sad. Don't ever be late tomorrow. Appearing in his own diss track after getting beaten up by Jake Paul inside 45 seconds in his goddamn back garden. Bro, that was literally insane. I I'm dead, bro. I'm be honest with you, I didn't expect you to do that, bro. Bro, but like, my it timing is gets good. Me so amped. My timing's good, bro. I'm not even kidding with the blinking thing. I actually went inside to grab a drink and I came out and it almost was over. <laughs> bro, I finna stepped over the- First off, <laughs> good shit to you, my Thank guy. You. Ugh. Yeah, that is the epitome of Yes Man Central. Oh! What, for aiming a liver shot at a clearly hungover Joe Weller? Just what? But yeah, Joe Weller began this entire thing in his garage when he beat up Theo Baker, a man who admittedly has the muscle strength of a Milky Way. And Christ, look at the poster for the fight. The poor boy looks embarrassed to take off his top, but that was where they started. Jake Paul would not be taking home a purse of two million pounds this month if it weren't for this video. This spawned YouTube boxing. Theo was just the beginning. Now, as the champion of boxing on YouTube, I am calling out for anyone that is brave enough to take me on. That was 2017, but now his confidence is just being force fed through a blender. But is he really this dishwasher standard of boxer everyone seems to think he is? The man had one proper fight against KSI, and he froze. But th there's clearly ability in there. So, so why not a redemption fight? Four years after having his reputation splattered like eggy cheesecake, why not once again try and beat KSI? I mean, considering that man has had over two years out of the boxing ring, it's almost like he's once again starting from scratch. I mean, what else is there of Joe Weller's boxing legacy? Fighting Jeremy Swaz Lynch with inflatable blow up toys? If Joe can surround himself with a better team, Chris, he's got the likes of Johnny Nelson begging to train him. I, I mean, why not? 
why wouldn't this fight make sense? Joe Weller was the big strong alpha man on YouTube and yet was humbled by someone who sang I'm on a horse and he never recovered. You can tell the man wants a chance at redemption and for the KSI fight. I mean clearly KSI surrounded himself with the right team but Joe, who did he use? His mam's hair dresser? Somebody who looks like he works in a McDonald's drive through at 3 a.m.? Yeah, he might be a whiz at serving up stale chicken nuggets, but he probably has the boxing IQ of a bowl of Coca Pops. As for KSI, he needs warm up fights. I mean, who else is he gonna fight? Dax? Sparring with Deji in his back lawn? Sneaking into a public toilet to punch Vicstar in the face? Why not? There is a sporty rivalry already there. Giving Joe Wetter the chance to seek vengeance, whilst giving KSI a proper warm up for Jake Paul, does it not make sense? And then after this fight, KSI needs to go the same route as Jake Paul and just grab some retired UFC bum. I mean, why not wheel out poor old Penn Askren again? You know, someone who probably prepares for his fights for eating seven cheeseburgers and wolfing down six rice crispy buns. Realize about this man's sporty legacy and dignity is already chewed up part, so why not? Why not enter the ring to now boost KSI's ego? Maybe then, maybe then KSI might be the confident right frame of mind to fight Jake Paul in late 2022. But until then, until he starts getting actual warm-up fight under his belt, then no! Stay well away from the boxing ring, or else Logan Paul's brother is gonna put you to sleep. Christ, well, this fight needs to happen in 2022 because otherwise, KSI's not gonna be able to fight Jake Paul until he's 30 years of age. That is not what you want to do. Fight Jake in your 20s or don't fight him at all. But first, Joe Weller. Everyone loves a comeback story. Tell me, why can't Joe reignite the fire, get a proper camp around him, and maybe even win the rematch? We could be about to witness one of the greatest sporting comebacks in history on, on, on YouTube. Anyway, that's for this and let me know what do you think? Alright, what do you think? Should KSI fight Joe Weller or Jake Paul? Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and as always I'll talk to you in a while.